at the name, name of Jesus, every knee must bend in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. Christ became obedient for us even to death, dying on the cross. Therefore, to the glory of God the Father, Jesus is Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, we've come to close to the end. As today is, is the day that we recall Jesus being see how's the best way to put it, betrayed, I guess, by one of his closest followers, Judas. One of the early nicknames for today is Spy Wednesday, because in shortly we will hear the gospel reading where Judas meets with the, the chief priests and the elders to agree to turn Jesus over to them and is paid with his 30 pieces of silver. As we begin this Mass, let us not pause and call to mind those times that we too have betrayed Jesus and his message of love and acceptance and forgiveness. And then trusting in Jesus' love, mercy, and forgiveness, ask him to forgive us and to help us to be better followers of his. Confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, and I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share in the glory of his resurrection. He lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue. That I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear, that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I am become like an outcast to my brothers and sisters, a stranger to my own mother's children. The zeal for your house consumes me, and the assaults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For comforters, and I found none. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts be merry. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to our King, obedient to his Father. 
He went to his crucifixion like a gentle lamb. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Mighty God, cleanse my mind and my lips that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went off to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver. From that time on, he kept looking for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples came up to Jesus and said, Where do you wish us to prepare the Passover supper for you? He said, Go to this man in the city and tell him, The teacher says my appointed time draws near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples in your house. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover supper. When it grew dark, Reclined at the table with the twelve. In the course of the meal, he said, I give you my word, one of you is about to betray me. Distressed by this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He replied, The man who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will hand, him, hand me over. The Son of Man is departing, as Scripture says of him. Woe to the one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for him if he had never been born. And Jesus, then Judas, his betrayer, said, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, It is you that have said it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Holy Gospel, wipe away our sins brothers and sisters. Our readings, all three of them, speak to us of the suffering that Jesus will be undergoing in just a day or so. We have the innocent lamb being led to slaughter who will be tortured and tormented. He gave his back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face he did not fear, his feet shield from buffets and spitting. And in our song, in our psalm rather, we hear, For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. I look for comfort, but there was none. For comforters, and I found none. Rather, they put gall in my food. And in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. And finally, we see, or hear, rather, of the betrayal of someone that Jesus loved and trusted, Judas, with that famous line of betraying for 30 pieces of silver. Even today, we use that as an insult for someone who betrays us. How often have we betrayed Jesus and his message? Over the centuries, so many people have looked to these readings as a, as a reason to hate condemn those they believe who were responsible for Jesus' suffering and death. Yet, how often do we do the same in our lives today? We are all Judas at some point in our life. We are all those who Judas betrayed his Savior to. We are all those who shout, crucify him, crucify him. We are the soldiers that whipped him, tormented him, taunted him, and 
crucified with. His blood is on each of us. However, for those who believe, that blood is not a mark of infamy, but rather that blood is also a means to cleanse us from the very betrayals that we make on a daily basis. His blood is upon us and upon our children. But as a sign that we have been washed clean, that we have become spotless lambs as he, the spotless lamb, was sacrificed. Let us now pray. In these days when Christ prayed and entreated his Father in the anguish of his passion, let us pray to the Lord with humility and with sorrow for our sins and for forgiveness for our betrayals. And our Father, hear and answer our prayers out of love for his Son, Jesus Christ. For the church, the bride of Christ, that she may be purified for the times when she has betrayed her Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world in which we live, that God may give all of us health and peace through the blood of Christ and forgiveness for all of our betrayals. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, that God may give them courage, strength, and healing through the sufferings of his Son, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our brothers and sisters around the world, believers and unbelievers everywhere, that the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ may lead each and every one of us to the glory of rising again, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead, that they may be received into a place of light, rest, peace, and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for those we have promised to pray for, those who stand most in need of our prayers, that they may be granted the graces needed most in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own petitions, We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, be near your people and hear our prayers. We have many needs they cannot express. We have many faults that need healing and forgiveness, but you know them all. And we ask you to help us through the suffering and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness to have restored the wealth of this earth as given unto the hands of men, that it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let us raise God our mind and understand the name of the Christ that he loves himself to share in our humanity. you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness, we have this wine, the wealth, the fruit of the vine, and with the human hands. You become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name and our good and good of all his church. Lord, accept the gifts we present as we celebrate this mystery of the suffering and death of your Son. May we share in the eternal life he has won for us, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we will always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. The day of his life giving death and glorious resurrection are approaching. This is the hour when you triumph over Satan's pride, the time when we celebrate the great event of our redemption. Through Christ, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are unholy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, the death decree he accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis the Pope, Stephen our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all that have parted into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise your union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, you grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. May you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this name go into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you in your love and mercy, meet your body and make your blood. May they not bring in condemnation, but help your mind and body.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Lord, we receive these gifts of purity of holy. Lord, in your holy nation, come on forever. Let us pray. All powerful God, the Eucharist pro proclaims the death of your Son. Increase our faith in its saving power and strengthen our hope in the life it promises. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks.